y'all. This is Leah with Mommyish, and today I have another style tutorial or kind of like a show off slash show how to use um, a new product. So um, I was trying to get caught up with my uh, my Facebook messages uh, for the Mommyish page, and I had gotten a message from Allie who had remembered a preview image. We have it right here. Now, this was from um, NSD last year, so last May. And she asked me if I had these tag shapes available. And I remembered I had started a set of tags and never had finished. And that was just around the time we were getting ready to move. And we moved. And then um, I started working for Coco Daisy more. And... Um, we had some family members pass away. It's just been crazy. So I'm trying to catch up. I'm trying to get back into the swing of things with styles because, you know, I love them. And um, I decided to go ahead and finish up that set. So when you see the uh, the little vintage keychain shapes, that's where that came from. Uh, and, of course, I have to make styles to go with it. So I'm working right now, actually, on the preview image for the product that you likely are interested in right now. Um, and what I have here is one of our layered keychain um, shapes. So you can see like each little bit has its own layer. This is also in, um, it's also in a EPS and AI format. So if you use Illustrator, you can open up them there and they're vectors. Um, but for Photoshop, I just made them into really big elements um, so you could scale down. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these guys and I'm going to duplicate them and throw them into my little preview. And you're going to see here, this is a 12 by 12 preview. So you can see there, that's quite big for a, um, for a keychain or a little key fob thingy. So I'm going to go ahead and scale this down to where I'm going to want it to be. I have it right around 400 pixels tall. So not too little, not too small, just kind of like a good size, good size, I think. All right. And I'm just going to hit enter and we're going to start playing around. So you're going to load up the style set, it's style in number 336, hard plastic and emboss, which is just fun. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I have the little dot there for where um, if you wanted to make it like a tag or whatever, you could, if it was a sticker, you could change the color or whatever. But what I use it for is I control click or command click um, this layer. And by doing so, excuse me. By doing so, it's going to select that layer for me. I'm just going to turn off the um, visibility of that layer for right now. And I'm going to go to the layers underneath it and just delete or erase that little part because I don't want that part. I want, it, I want my style to have an effect on these edges here. So that's why I got rid of that, just so you know. So really easy. Controller command click. You're just selecting that little dot, you know. And then you're just going to delete it from the layers underneath it. Um, this one doesn't matter because it, it doesn't um, affect that layer. All right. So next up, and sorry here, now I have the whole thing. Um, next up, I want to pick color. So uh, you know me, I have a love affair with pink. So we're going to go ahead and go with um, just a quick color overlay. <laughs> and I'm just going to sample here pink. All right. And then this part, I think I'm going to do red because we are getting close to Valentine's and I think it'd be fun. So why not? The color of love. All right, here we go. So this gives me the base of what I want to see, right, for, for my preview. So I have my little cute little key chain, vintage key chain shape here. I have it in the colors. Oh, and then I, um, I made something in Illustrator a second ago because I wanted an accent to go on to the on the little key fob thing. So here we go. So you all always are saying I'm the style queen. So I thought, you know what? Maybe do you think maybe it's time for me to own it? Tell me what you think. Should I just should I just go with that? Forget style and no forget mommy ish. It's just gonna be like style queen the end. Because <laughs> obviously this is where my heart is. Okay. Um anyway. Back to the styles themselves, getting a little carried away there. But I do appreciate y'all's opinions, of course. Um, so when we go here to the styles, I have them organized by, um, like, the hard plastics, meaning kind of like the the outside 
bit. So you see this one gives this really cool little like beveled edge. He looks really nice. This one's similar, except the coloring inside of it is a little bit different, all right? You notice there the lighting effect on that's different, and depending on the color, it will or will not look great. So um, that's why it's a B option of this. So this is A, this is B. Similar bevel and stuff, different lighting effect. All right, here's hard plastic two. This is A, this is more of just like a very standard. I like that the light is coming from a different angle though. I was kind of enjoying myself there a bit. And here is B, which is just, again, a different sort of lighting effect on that. Here we have hard plastic 3A, a little different again, 3B. And then we have hard plastic 4. There's no A and B, it's just sort of a little you know. So you're going to know which one is my favorite. My favorite is is the 1B. It's just, I love him. All right. I love him. And now watch this. Okay. This is a little trick. What we're going to do is we are going to go ahead, these style, the layers that are over it from this element set, we're going to go ahead and clip those onto this layer. So I'm just going to select these. And actually, let me bring these guys here too. And I'm just going to do a um, select them all, Control um, Alt G. I believe it's Control G or Command G in um, Illustrator. And do you see what that did there? So now you can see the full effect because this layer was, you know, you couldn't see it because that's what was going on. <gasps> that kind of looks cool on its own too, though, right? Anyway, um, but yeah, that that gives us the color on there. But am I done? Of course, I'm not done. You're talking about me here. All right, so we have our hard plastic, you know, kind of outside styles. Then I made more styles that would be like different embosses to um, to go on the inside. So, and there you'll see it say like hard plastic inner emboss one. And I'm just going to click it and let's see what it looks like. So you see there, it has its own effect. This one is a clear emboss. So it adds just like, it takes away the um, the color of the layer, but leaves the really neat effect. Kind of love, love, love this one. All right. And in fact, I know I want to use that one on the little lines because it gives it like that neat sort of ridged effect, right? All right. So I'm moving back down to the one that was red. So the next um, effect is that, but different lighting. And then the one after that one is the same thing, but this time with color. I kind of love this one too, I'm going to be honest. I really love it. Okay, so I think we're going to keep that for now. And then next up, we have some that are meant um, from some styles that are meant for, uh, you know, smaller effects on the, the plastic. These are also embosses. So we have the, a text effect here, and this one has an accent. It does like this kind of glow. It's like it's. I'm using vivid light because vivid light, I find on plastic elements, it gives it, I don't know, the right kind of... I want to say sheen, you know, I don't know. All right, so, um, and I'm just going to show you the, the different ones. So here's the an emboss. This is one. Lord knows what I'm doing when I'm numbering these things. I, I mean, I feel like we should, I should be happy that I've done anything, <laughs> that I remember to do it. Uh, here's two, and our last one is three. So very similar to this one, but without the outer glow. But yeah. So for this, using the outer glow. Now, um, with the yellow, it's goldy, but not quite the color goldy I wanted it to be. So I'm just going to open this little guy up uh, and change the color. I have him as a smart object right now. I'm going to make sure I save that one. Save the smart object so it'll update over here. And you can see it's a little bit deeper. But really, it can be any color you want. So um, I'm just going to do that again so you can see uh, if I change that let's say to a deep color let's go ahead and use this sort of like teal navy uh, tealy color oops wrong spot there you can see how that looks there 
Really cool, right? Like, I love it. I love the effect of it. So, yeah, it, it's also going to look good with white, which is kind of a classic thing to see on the, the little key fobs when they were embossing them. Some of them were fancy and gold, but, you know, some of them were white. Now, what you're going to want to do here, remember, with white, anytime we're doing a layer style on it, because white is white, you might want to make it like a light gray so you get a little bit more um, depth and dimension when you are using it in a style format. Come on. So there we go. Look, style queen. Do you think I should leave it in white for the preview? Well, you will know by the uh, by the time you've played this video what I ended up doing. But that is the set. I'm styling number 336. And then, of course, we have our fun, trendy vintage keychains. I, I did a lot of Google researching for like different sizes and styles. Like this one down here was like real, a really popular, the, actually these guys right here, very popular. Of course, the, that traditional, um, motel keychain, but all of these I found in my, my hunting and, uh, and I was like, gosh, these are going to be a lot of fun to see in kits and, uh, and make new elements with. So I hope you guys enjoy this set as much as I am and, uh, yeah, have fun. Leave any comments, questions below. And as always, thank you so much for uh, being my supporters throughout my entire career. Y'all are amazing. You make your support makes me able to do what I do, and, and I, I truly appreciate that. But that's it for me. Have a great day, and bye-bye. <laughs>